every day in Nigeria, you keep hearing things that you, you ask yourself, how is this possible? The latest is that Wole Suyinka, the Nobel laureate, has scattered the internet. Everywhere is buzzing. You know what he said? He said that Pito B is not fit to lead Nigeria. That Pito B is unfit to be president of Nigeria. That is Wole Soyinka in an interview he gave to one noble AEC this two days ago. <laughs> and what is the problem? Why is Pito B not qualified to lead Nigeria? Why is he unfit? Wole Soyinka's reason will make you have a very good laugh. In fact, it's disturbing that a professor of international standards, somebody held in such a high repeat, we make this kind of reason and excuse. Hypocrisy at its height. This is Wole Soyinka that led a campaign against Good Luck Jonathan for the dollar increasing by a little percentage. He called the wife of Jonathan even a hippopotamus, a professor like Wole Shoyinka. There's no language he didn't use to describe Jonathan, him and his gang. They called him clueless. They called his wife. She said the wife is like a hippopotamus, Professor Wole Shoyinka. And now he says Obi is not fit to lead Nigeria. Do you know why? He said because obedience, supporters of P2B are insulting to people. They insult people on the uh, social media. And this same Wole Shoyinka opened his mouth and called Jonathan's wife, president's wife, a hippopotamus. Now, what did the obedience insult him about? What did they do? It's because of his interviews that he's saying Tinubu is the best uh, thing since uh, butter and bread was discovered. The best man to leave Nigeria. And Wole Shoyinka has been telling us about president so many times. But after saying all this, he will backfire. He once told us that of Jonathan and everybody available, that Buhari is the best thing that will ever happen to Nigeria. One year, two years into Buhari's administration, Wolo Seyinka changed his story. He didn't visit him again until he left because he's fond of visiting president. He has access to everybody. But his prediction came to naught. Now, they have delivered the Tinubu to us Fine. I don't want to talk much. This is one year of Tinubu's administration. You be the judge. What has changed? What has happened? How happy Nigeria is today? And now Wole Shoyinka is talking of 2027 that he hoping, he's advising that P2B should not come out because he's unfit to <laughs> lead Nigeria. And because his followers, I mean, are very rude, according to him. It is not, listen, it's not that P2B is rude. It's not that P2B instructed people to be rude. He said that he has fact that P2B knows what these people are doing and kind of encourages them. Let me use his word. He said, I know for a fact that he, P2B, was in control of those forces. That is in control of those obedience. He added that dishonest political leaders like P2B is now dishonest and encouraging the divisive actions of the group. But he didn't see anything wrong with when the voting was going on, how people were chased out of Lagos because Yoruba people. He didn't see when people are forced, they must vote APC, otherwise they shouldn't vote at all. Well, Soyinka didn't see anything divisive when primitive practices were carried out in the streets of Lagos with people carrying pots in their head and they dressed in white like um, on a ritual, telling people that you must vote APC or this. Well, Soyinka didn't see any of these things divisive. When the president, his friend, Bola Tinubu, 
said that in this election, you must grab it, run with it, disappear with it. It's not a, a civilized something. You must grab it by all this thing. Wole Suhinka didn't see that. He didn't see that as divisive. He didn't see anything wrong with it. And it looks like it's only P2B that has supporters. There's also supporters for Tinubu. The banters or whatever that's happening on the social media was coming from both sides. He didn't see the spokesperson for APCs, the Feni Fanekayo devs, when they were throwing all kind of garbage on people. The first two Skeyamo, hmm? the Bayo Nanuga and the rest. He never had that. When Bayo Nanuga said that Ibo should not vote in Lagos, yes, because they are disturbing, they should leave, in fact. He is now working at the presidency. Wallace Oenka has his ears plucked with uh, cotton wool. He doesn't hear those things. And Wallace Oenka is now saying that 6 million Nigerians, 6 million, according to INEC figures that voted for P2B are all stupid. He didn't see that. 6 million votes. And um, Obi is not fit to rule Nigeria. So those people are simply crazy. It's unfortunate the kind of things that is going on in this country. If you speak, they say you are insulting elders. But why don't you keep quiet and forget about raising doors? Because everybody will not just be looking at you because you are an elder when you pour uh, uh, spit in their faces. No, they have a right to say something. You cannot tell 6 million Nigerians have voted for Obi that Obi is not fit to be president of Nigeria. <coughs> That's not possible. You are not... You are building what you call divisive. You are the one that is now creating it. Because you're drawing lines, demarcation, who could be and who could not. And you have not been doing this. It's not like you started it today. Like I mentioned, you have been on it for so long. You participated in protests against Good Luck Ebele, Jonathan. You insulted him. You people called him names, clueless. He was the most insulted president in Nigeria. You called... You even left Jonathan and went and insulted the wife, a first lady of a country where you're a citizen. Today, you have moved to P2B because you have a Tinubu as a brother. You have a Tinubu as your friend who has helped you before with Lages to settle you down with your family when you had nothing and you think you have to pay him back. You could pay him back as much as you want, but you can also remain decent in the things you say so that young people will not insult you. And they trust obedience. They have the social media because before, Wole Soenka can speak to any of the newspapers in Nigeria, TV station, radio station, and um, commoners have no right, no way to be had. But today, thank goodness, everything is available. They have means to air the opinion. And whether you like it or not, you will hear things. They will troll you because you are the one looking for their problem. You call them headless mobs, all kind of things. Very unfortunate. Every day, new things in Nigeria. That's Wallace Yuinka. And um, let's see what is happening, what the obedience will say and the rest of it. Thank you for watching this video. Please like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so for more juicy content.